So I'm getting to taste probably the freshest Thakur original yeah. Dharwad Peda here in Dharwad. There's a bit of stretchiness to that Peda. It's purely handmade. It's purely handmade. Each and everything is a process for handmade here. Really? Not a single machine is used. Very special Mithai that was invented here by Karan's grandfather's grandfather's grandfather over 150 years ago when he migrated to Dharwad from Unnao in Lucknow. We are in Dharwad's Lion Bazaar and we are here to taste what is perhaps Dharwad's most famous export not just to the country but to the world. We are here to taste the Dharwad Peda. So we are here at Babu Singh's Thakur Peda, Dharwad's famous and original Peda that's been around for the last 150 years or so. And this Mithai shop is part of the home of the family that has been producing this delicious Mithai for a century and a half. Let's go in and find out what makes the Dharwad Peda so special. Namaste. Namaste. Aapka naam? Karan Singh Thakur. Karan Singh Thakur. This business ka hama sixth generation. Ah, sixth generation. Sixth generation. Chhatti yeah. Pidi ho Chhatti aap. Chhatti Pidi haa. Ah. So this is a business that has transcended sixth generation. So when you talk about Dharwad. Yeah. So people talk about the Dharwad Peda. Yes. Ah? Yeah. There is no speaking of Dharwad without its most famous export to the world, the Dharwad Peda. So this was your grandfather's grandfather's grandfather. grandfather. Yeah. Who uh, invented this? Yes, who invented this. This started like it came from Lucknow. Huh. Uh, Lucknow Unnao. From Unnao? So, yeah, like uh, like 150 years back. Because of leak that all the city was vacant. So he came over here, he started the same business which we had there. Uh. So then he got a bit late popular, then people started asking where do we get this sweet, where do we get this peda. Uh. Because he used to sell in bus stand. Uh. I used to go to like bus to bus, he used to hold a tray, uh. the sweets in that he used to sell over like peda. So customers push me like he thick up, kidder, kidder milta. So he did a shop. Shop come to the shop, then now we are the sixth generation just to handle the shop. Fantastic. So, what do you think? पेड़े बनाने का बिजनेस वो उन्नाव में था। हाँ। तो उन्नाव में आपके ग्रैंडफादर के ग्रैंडफादर के ग्रैंडफादर। I don't think I've ever said this in any of my episodes। इनके ग्रैंडफादर के ग्रैंडफादर के ग्रैंडफादर उन्नाव में पेड़े बनाते थे। Yes। Used to make पेड़ास in उन्नाव and then there was the plague there। Yeah। And he moved, he migrated, fortunately for us, to Dharwad in Karnataka and he began selling this in bus stands। Yeah। and people wanted to know where you get this peda. So he said, let's set up a shop. Yes. And that's how the shop in Lion yes. Bazaar came. Yeah, this one. This year, it's 100 years ago. 150 years about. Over 150 years. So of course, today the reputation of, of Thakur peda, of the Dharwad peda is, is much, much bigger than what the shop can contain. Yeah. How many shops are you today? More than 50, 100. More than 50, 100. Well, he doesn't have count of how many franchises he has. So, your job is to make a tree. Yes. And to supply the franchises. There are also franchises that you can supply the franchises. And they go to World Wide. California, Uganda, and Paris. We have supplies. We have supplies. We have our customers that they take it from here. They come from there, they buy it from here and then go. Fantastic. All that talk of peda makes me feel like I should taste some peda. Taste karne ko milega? Milega. So we are in the ancestral home of the Thakur. Yeah, Thakur's villa. Thakur's villa where 150 years ago, this was the address from which they would make and sell the Dharwad peda. Of course, the legacy of the peda goes back even beyond that to a place called Urnao Outside yeah. Lucknow. Yeah. Fantastic. And the one thing that I can see is boxes of Babu Singh's Thakur Peda. So who's Babu Singh? The person who started. The okay. Bus, uh, his name was Ram Ratan Singh. Then afterwards his son, uh, his name was Mohan Singh. Huh. And after that his son was Babu Singh. In his time, this sweet got very famous. 
So that time we, uh, it was named as Babu Singh's Thakur Peda. Ah. So after that my grandfather, my father and me. So I am the 6th generation. You are the 6th generation. Yeah. Fantastic. So after uh, Babu Singh, my grandfather, his name was also Ramratan Singh. After that my dad, Durga Singh and me, like 6th generation, Karan Singh. Right? You know, this is an iconic peda. I mean, they call it a peda, but it doesn't really take the typical shape, right? Shape, yeah. Because so, it's purely handmade. It's purely handmade. Each and everything is a process for handmade. Here. Really? Not a single machine is used. Oh, there is no machine that's no, used? No, no, nothing, nothing. Not a single machine is so used. So, to all these 50, 100 stores that get supplied uh, the Dharwad peda, they're all handmade? It's handmade, yes. So, you see, every shape is different. Different. Yeah. And this is probably one of those few iconic mithais that you will find in Karnataka. The moment you see this color, the moment you see the speckles of white on this brownish soft of shape you know this is the dharwad mitai matlab ek pehle se shape aise hi hai iska ha alag alag shape aap dekho ye dekho ye dekho iska alag shape hai hmm you biting into the goodness of milk ye kya khoa hai mostly sirf milk and sugar do hi cheez se pura product banta hai milk and sugar that's it hmm so you basically bite into the rich softness of the khoa first and then the crunch of the sugar particles all around. Tell me one thing, how does it get this color? So it is a process of four uh. to five hours. We start with the milk and milk will go for khawa and khawa will burn it for some time. Like the process of uh, wing, then we'll mix with sugar and this product will get ready in four hours. In four hours? Yeah, because it's purely handmade, no machine and there is pure thing, so it'll take time. Can we take a look at how this sure, sure. peda is made? Sure. Well, it's a different day from the tasting of the Dharwar Peda and Karan Singh's house and we are now at the facility where they hand make yeah. these special pedas. Yes, please come. I can smell that Dharwar Peda in the air. huh? So this is the khoa? Yeah, yeah. From milk, it becomes khoa. Okay. So after that, we add sugar in that. You add sugar into that? Yeah. And it is a process of four hours. Okay. Which after mixing with milk and sugar, the final product is this, which we get. Ah. So, and that is cooked over a wood fire? Yeah, oh. wooden fire. That's it. It's always wood fire? Yeah, yeah wood fire. No wood gas, fire. nothing? No gas, nothing. That's what gives it that special flavor. Yes, and it's only milk and, and sugar. sugar. Fantastic. So milk and sugar becomes the kova and then the kova gets cooked again. Again, ha. Huh? Again we add with sugar in that. Huh. So we get this final product like. Oh that's the final product. And this takes what? Four hours four to cook. Four hours, four hours to get this one. So the milk and the sugar is cooking and the sugar caramelizes. Yes. And the milk thickens and that's what gives them is cooking. Kova means a peda khoi bodhis. And the give it is called until unless some sugar coat can be hoga, that is peda. So we call it as khoa. Jab up usko roll karoge. So we peda bantha. Yes. Tell me one thing, Karan. Uh -huh. Now she has a certain size of her palm. <laughs> Somebody else may have another size. No, so, no, no. We keep a uh, standard size for that. Acha. Yeah, it must be comfortable a person to eat. Zada bada bhi ho gaya. Zada hold nahi karte. Ekdam chota ho gaya. Comfortable nahi hoga. So this is a medium size. Ah. Like a bachcha bhi pakana hai. Even a kid must hold it. Even a kid should be able to yeah, hold yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is this? So the the form is like sugar. Yeah, it's it's a sugar itself. Ah, uh, it's sugar itself. Hmm. So it's basically the cooking, it's the time yeah, yeah. that it takes to cook. Oh, yeah, everything is milk and sugar. Then there's no shortcuts no, to it. No, no shortcuts. So the pedas have now been mixed and now they're going to be placed on the floor there. Uh, and she's also got some of that sugar mix on the floor. And as she rolls those pedas down there, that peda will or pakdega. Yes. The pedas will hold on to more of those white sugar particles. So I'm getting to taste probably the freshest Thakur original yeah. Dharwad Peda here in Dharwad. And I don't think too many would have tasted yeah. a Dharwad Peda just after it's been rolled. Oh, it is very soft right now. There's a bit of stretchiness to that Peda. Mm. Of course, you're tasting the milk. You're tasting the richness of the milk. You're tasting the richness of the khoa. But there is also a certain nuttiness to it yeah. that comes from that milk and that khoa being cooked over a wood fire for hours. And then the sugar particles help two ways. It gives it a bit of a crunch and also a slight tinge of sweetness in every bite. Huh? Fantastic. 
And tell me this Dharwad Peda. Recipe is the same from the time that your yeah, grandfather's yeah. grandfather's grandfather. I had to say that once again. Began this, huh? Yeah. In Unnao. No, now I'm Alex Vita. This was invented in Dharwad. This was invented in Dharwad. Ah. Ah. There was different sweets. Ah. Ah. But ah. he came here and he did this. He came here and he did this. Ah, yeah. He knew Kusto Karna, so he started with milk. Huh. He wrote, added sugar, he made poa. After he started using it, so he got to know, okay, okay, we can try this somehow, mm. somehow we will burn it. Somehow we must start cook it. So just making, making, then he got us thing. Like It took me a long time for him. Like, long start, time? Yeah. Many experiments he must do, right? Ah. Ah, eat, like, how taste it. And in this food, when you place it in your mouth, you place it in your mouth, boil it, it is a tindu mele sa, sulpa do taste linger agate. Yes. Uh, oh. The most sublime of all creations usually are very simple in the ingredients that probably come together. Mm. But I think what really makes it special is the fact that there is six generations mm. of work that has gone into it and a certain commitment from the family over the last six generations to producing that. And I think that's what makes that Dharwad Peda special and more so. At the house of Babu Singh Thakur, original Dharwad Peda. Mm. How long will the Peda stay? Uh, you can stay for 15 days, but you have to not keep it in the refrigerator. It's yeah, a natural product, you have to keep it open or else in a box as it is. Not in a refrigerator? No, no, no. no. Because the milk is not light, so this is a natural product. So, it will not be So, you can keep 15 days outside at yeah. room temperature yeah, in the box, no yes, problem. Yes, no and problem. if you want to preserve it longer, in the refrigerator? No, no, you have to not, not at all keep it in the refrigerator. In one day, it will go. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you keep it in the refrigerator? Yeah, yeah. It will become harder, right? Ah. The will change the pH. Sugar ah. will match the pH. Ah. I'm enjoying my, my Dharwad breakfast <laughs> of the Dharwad Peda. Just to give you a scale, of course, all the ladies here are working. So the ladies are the ones who are making the pedas. Yes, yes. And just looking at all the sugar that they're sieving, and all this, and there's more in those drums, is the production for today. Yeah. Yes. Gives you a sense of the scale of the production of Dharwad pedas here. Well, we watched the coming together of that original Dharwad Peda here at Babu Singh's Thakur Peda. This is also a Peda that has won numerous awards huh? yes. over the last 150 years. Yeah, we have got Lord Wellington Medal in 1913 and after that we got Provincial Corporate Certificate in 1925. An award from Government of Karnataka in 1999 and winner of uh, Priyadarshini Indira Gandhi Award 2001 and winner of Rajiv Gandhi Award 2002. And needless to say, I like the tagline of Babu Singh Sakur Peda. It's the pride of Dharwad. And also, this is a GI tag product. So, a Dharwad Peda is one that is made in Dharwad. Yes. When, why is that? Why does that make such a difference? Yeah, the quality of milk, the sugar, what you get, that matches to this area only. Like ah. the local area of Dharwad. So, therefore, this is also a GI tag product. So, when you're in Dharwad, Make sure to visit Babu Singh's Thakur Peda and get your fill of the very special Mithai that was invented here by Karan's grandfather's grandfather's grandfather over 150 years ago when he migrated to Dharwad from Unnao in Lucknow. I hope you enjoyed this very special, very sweet episode of Gourmet on the Road. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and needless to say, happy eating. Mm. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!